What is an easement? Ladies and gents in Cyberland, coming back to you with another educational video of the real estate world. And this time we're moving on to easements and what are they? You know, I'm going to go back and, and discuss a little thing about easements. At some point, easements were just hard for me to really grasp. I just, I just couldn't get them. Like, it just wasn't clicking to me. And then ever since I've been in the real estate world and being a realtor, it now so, now so more, or get the words out, it makes sense. So, an easement is a situation where somebody has to utilize your property to do what they need to do. And, well, you're like, well, how does that work? Well, okay. For example, let's say you have two homes connected to each other. And this person has, their home is in the back of your home. And you have a driveway that is connect, that both properties are connected to. Well, in order for them to get to their home, they have to drive on into the driveway, passing your home to get to their home. Now you could say, well, that's annoying. I don't want to deal with that. What if I want to use my driveway? Sorry, you can't. You can't block the driveway. You can't use the driveway only for you. You have to allow them to utilize their car or, they, or whatever they're utilizing, their bicycle, their motorcycle, they have to be allowed to have access to the driveway to get to their property. You cannot block it, you cannot stop it. Now, hypothetically though, what if you own both properties? That's a different story. If it's a tenant, you can just say there's no, um, there's no, personal, prop there's no personal parking. You have to park on the street. You can do that. So keep that in mind for homeowners. If you're renting a property and you have a house in the back and you don't want them coming on there, they can, of course, they still have to walk onto the property. You can't stop that at least. But if you don't want them driving onto the property, you can do that. So that's a situation with an easement. Now let's say, let's go go at any bigger. And, I, and the funny thing is, I've been watching a lot, of, a lot of Yellowstone. In this situation, I was like, hey, that's an easement. And it just caught my attention. So, you know, you learn something. And when you're able to utilize what you've learned, you can, when you see things in shows or films, you can be like, hey, you know, this, this, that. So, good example. For those who have watched Yellowstone, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's a situation where I think Cass, I think that's his name, the, the youngest of the bunch, um, he got a call or um, an owner came in and said that he was not being allowed to utilize to get his uh, cows across this road to get them where they need to go. Um, and he was being blocked off. And then uh, these things were installed to these metal roller things were installed to mess with the cows to make them fall and stuff. And at first when I saw the scene, I was like, what the heck is that? And I didn't get it. It didn't click yet. And then I realized, wait a minute. A cow has hooves, and they need it. And with anybody, it, it, it's difficult to walk across something if the ground is not flat. It's moving. So pretty much what happened was the owner, who was being an asshole, he didn't like the fact that the other owner was utilizing that and had a right to, it was an easement, had a right to utilize his pathway to move his cattle across across the ranch. So what the owner did was that he installed these metal um, these metal rollers that wouldn't affect a car driving across, or not necessarily a person, but a cow who moves like this. Well, what would happen is when they move across, they're going to slide and fall, slide and fall, slide and fall. And here's the thing. 
animals can only take so much damage. And as I've learned over the years of, about why um, rabbits and things that, and groundhogs, why in, when it comes to farmland, they try to get rid of those things really fast and kill them. The reason being is because if an animal gets their leg caught or if the ground isn't, isn't fully flat and they get their leg caught in a hole and they fall, they could break their leg. Because they're, you know, a cow or a sheep, when it get, when we're talking about, or even a horse, their legs at the bottom are a lot more brittle than the rest of their body. So, they fall over, and or you have multiple fall over and they break their legs and such. Well, do farmers in general have the money to pay for each one of the veterinarians to fix that situation? Probably not. So what's probably going to happen to that animal? They're going to have to kill it. And that is livestock. And that is money that now is not being utilized to the fullest as it should be for that owner. So those little roller things that were on the ground, when the cows were walking across, they're going to slip and fall and a couple of them might break a, break a leg. And that's serious damage to that livestock owner. So, Cass came and um, he pretty much got into it with the owner. And the owner said, well, I'm tired of him walking or having stupid cows walk across my land. And he arrested the guy because the guy was, what he did was illegal. He had no right to install those things. Even though it's his property, the other gentleman, the other livestock owner had an easement on that property. And even though the owner didn't like it, he had no right to do that. And it was something that struck a chord with me being a homeowner and being a, uh, being a realtor. So that's what, what the easement means is that if somebody has to utilize your property to get to, to do what they have to do, you can't stop them. Like, literally. Now you're like, well, that's not fair. It's like, well, here's the other thing. Whenever you're buying a property, those things are going to be stated. It's going to be stated that there happens to be an easement on a property or something with the land. For example, as I talked about uh, crops and stuff, let's say for example, you're buying a property that has a cornfield behind it. Now, you know, as long as you're not gonna have a cornfield, but let's just say if it was, okay, just, you have a cornfield and there's an easement on the cornfield. When what it means is even though you own the property, the easement, uh, there's, a, there's somebody who's allowed to utilize um, the crop, they're able to come onto your property and cultivate the crop, the uh, crops, or since that's technically part of an implement, but they have to drive onto your property in the easement part to get to the crops. And you're like, well, I don't want them doing that. Well, you can't stop. And of course, it's stated that those things are a part of you purchasing the property. That's what you have to deal with. So, again, whenever you buy a property, make sure you're you do your investigations. You know all that. So if that's not something you want to deal with shoot go somewhere else some people can be okay with that you know it just depends on the person um, and those are all things to consider but yes easements when somebody has to utilize your land to do what they need to do or they have to get equipment across your land to get to their destination that's the only way they can go that's the only road there is you can't stop them. you can't block them you can't be like I don't want them driving across my my road sorry even though it's your road that's the only road that's available they have to come through. So, anyway, that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.